Welcome back to Lemon Code 21. In this tutorial, we'll create a simple project using NestJs that logs information and stores it in the ELK Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana stack for effective monitoring. Let's dive in. Begin by initializing a NestJS project. Set up your Eslint configuration for consistent code style. Add a new controller, such as the post controller. Next, incorporate dependencies like the Winston logger. Configure the logger settings in Winston, including JSON format properties and transports for storing logs in a file. In each controller file, implement logging using the configured logger. We add logs to each controller. To enable Elasticsearch integration, create a FileBeat folder and add two files, Dockerfile and FileBeat.im. Copy the Dockerfile script from the repository and do the same for the FileBeat.ml script. Ensure that the service names match in the Docker Compose file. Include the docker-compose.il file. Try running the application. If you encounter Dockerfile-related errors with NestJ's app, make sure to create the Dockerfile first. 
You can copy the script from the repository. If you're using Windows, open Docker Desktop. All containers should be up and running. Let's test step by step. Access localhost 8080. Check Elasticsearch at localhost 9200. ensuring that the NestJ's app index is visible, indicating that log files are stored in Elasticsearch. Now just open your browser and try the URL. Open Kibana at localhost 5601 and add an index pattern. Check the Discover section to see if log data has been ingested. Call the API to confirm that log data is visible in Kibana. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy video.